proteins are large molecular structures that are made of many, many amino acids linked together. The shape or configuration of the amino acid structure determines the type of protein that it is. The large protein structures are called polypeptides. They are digested down into dipeptides, which are two amino acids linked together. Individual amino acids are what we want to absorb and use as building blocks for tissues or in biochemical reactions. When amino acids are used for energy, such as in starvation, or when too much protein has been consumed, amino acids are deaminated. This process forms ammonia, which is converted to urea by the liver, then removed via the bile from liver or urine from the kidneys. The bulk of the amino acid becomes pyruvate, which can be converted to acetyl-CoA for use in the Krebs cycle for ATP production. The three main sources of energy for our cells are lipids, carbohydrates, and proteins. Carbohydrates enter the cell as glucose and goes through glycolysis. The pyruvic acid produced by glycolysis is converted to acetyl-CoA to enter the Krebs cycle. The coenzymes produced along the way generate most of the ATP through the electron transport kit chain with the use of oxygen. Lipids break down to glycerol and fatty acids. The glycerol follows the pathway glucose does. Fatty acids convert into acetyl-CoA to enter the Krebs cycle. Proteins enter as deaminated amino acids and convert to acetyl-CoA to enter the Krebs cycle.